Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your custom liveries on a set of course of Competizione. Um, I think most people by now know how to do it, but since the latest patch it was changed and made quite a lot easier. So um, yeah, I thought I'd make a tutorial video instead of um, sort of the text tutorials, which can be kind of hard to follow at times. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope it helps you out. And now let's see some of your liveries. So first things first, you want to head over to local disk drive C, find program files times 86, head down to Steam, then Steam apps, common, a set of course of competizione, server, um, CFG, and go into entry list. Once you're in entry list, you're going to scroll down where it says player ID. Now this is normally blank. It normally has the um, exclamation marks at S and the rest is blank. And what you need to do here is you need to put in your online Steam ID. And um, to find your online Steam ID, you can go to Steam, um, click on your name. And once you've clicked on your name, you'll see in this green bar right here, you'll see um, a series of numbers. The one starting with seven, and you wanna highlight um, Highlight the numbers, copy, go back to the notepad where you're in entry list and you want to paste it in here. Now mine's already here so I don't need to paste it, but you'll need to paste that. You want to leave the exclamation marks to S and you want to paste it in between the S and the final exclamation mark. Now go down to where it says custom car and then you'll see test car. Now I'm not too sure if they've changed this, normally it just used to say test car by itself. If it does still say that, just add a dot and JSON to the end. And also again, make sure it's inside the exclamation marks. And then after you've done that, um, you want to file and hit save. And that is how you're going to get your, your um, custom livery online later on. But I'll keep on going and show you guys later. So once you've done that, you want to head over to this website, which I will leave the um, I'll leave the link in the description and you want to hit custom cars on the left hand side and as you scroll down just a little bit you'll see a link here which is all the um, files for all the cars you want to download that and once you've downloaded that you want to head over to downloads which is here you're going to want to unzip it click into it and once you've done that once you've clicked into it you'll see all, all the stock sort of um, custom liveries for the cars, all the stock custom liveries. So what you wanna do from here is you wanna open a separate folder, um, documents. Once you've opened documents, go into a set of course of competizione, customs, cars, and let me just make that a little smaller. Highlight all the cars from the downloaded downloaded pack that you downloaded just before and then this will actually be empty obviously I've already downloaded it here but where it says um, custom cars this will all be empty so you want to get these and you want to drag them over and drop them all in here um, once you've done that um, you go over to, over to your file which has um, all the cars you've just dropped in there we're going to choose the Mercedes AMG because that's what we've put a livery on so we'll click into that and now this is pretty much all the values that you need to put a custom livery on your car all these numbers actually either mean a color or a texture so um this is what we're going to use i'm going to show you again on the main website that we're using so you can see here um, your race number you can choose a race number between 1 and 998 your car model is the car that you actually want to change the livery of. So you can see our car model is actually number one and each car has this, has a different car ID. So if you scroll all the way down, you see some of the newer cars like the Aston Martin number 20, um, the, the Honda NSX Evo 21, the McLaren 720 22 and the new Porsche 23. So um, 
all the cars there you can't really put a livery on the lexus i think the lexus is the only car that's not there that's because it you, you're not able to put a livery on the lexus so we're running um the mercedes amg which is id number one right here so we'll get our file up so i can show you so we put the number 700 on our car the car model is number one which is the amg as you can see here the skin template as you see the different templates 100 101 102 103 104 we've gone for 104 for our amg which is this one right here so this will be the template that we will be using so we know that the delivery it won't look exactly like this but all the all the different um parts of the car will be separated as as in color so we know we can put different colors in all these places and we kind of know how the car will look at the end so we chose 104 as our template underneath that you had the skin color id which is the actual colors you want to put on the car now i've got another website here that i'll also leave a link to and this pretty much shows you the number of all the colors so number one is black and then scroll on to 98 which is actually the the color i use for the main base of the car 98 which is a sort of turquoise magenta sort of not magenta turquoise sort of color um and that's what color i used so let's get this back up um so we used 98 for the first color and the secondary color um and the, the third color that i used was actually black so um that's normally you know just maybe a line on the car or a wing mirror or something like that the first two are normally your main colors with the first color being the main base of the car but your first two are normally your main colors so that's normally the colors that's gonna sort of you know give your car the direction you want to go in in terms of paint and um, then you've got the skin material which again we'll show you in the chart the skin material is the base colors you want and the materials you're using so number zero equals just a standard paint um, from one to three equals matte paint with the third one being the more intense matte finish the gloss is number four equals gloss and number five and six for some reason i haven't got it here but number five and six is actually your chromes so six being the the higher end of the chrome which is really shiny and five being a more dull sort of color but i i really like four and six um in terms of making liveries i really do like four and six but um so those are your skin materials so you use the colors in junction with your materials to sort of you know if you want to make i don't know like a chrome sort of color you're going to want to find white and then you want to put white with the material number six and that normally makes a, a nice chrome color but um moving on we've got the the rim color id now the first rim color id will be your main color of your rims which will probably be what you'll see here is like the black rims and if you put a, a separate color um you're on your second id for the rim color it's normally like an outline around the the your main color so it's a nice little highlight looks quite nice on the cars um then you can do the same thing with the with the skin with the um, actual livery you can have the material of your rims in a chrome or whatever you want so um that's pretty cool moving on we've got this sponsor id now if we scroll down these are all the different sponsor ids so if you've got a very dark car you're gonna want your sponsor id to be white so it stands out more so that's that's the even numbers and if you've got a very bright car you're gonna want your sponsor id to be a lot darker so that's all the odd numbers so you can see fanatec one two you've got the black and the white and you get the drift you um all the ones that are two four six they're all white and all the odds are all black and darker writing so um pretty easy to figure that out this chart right here sort of shows you the different material ids and this is how you're gonna you know get to choose what how you want your car to look in terms of the the paint itself and the material so you can see here the chrome and you can see the difference between the chrome and the matte and that's basically how you're gonna put your car together but we'll head back over to our file folder and you can see we've got we've gone with 98 as i said as the turquoise colors we've gone with the sponsor id 11 which is the rc 
in the black writing and then the use the use endurance kit is actually the endurance lights so if you want to have fog lights on your car you're going to want to put the endurance kit on keep it on number one if you don't want to have endurance lights on for some reason then you'll put this on zero and it'll just be the normal standard lights without the fog lights at the bottom of the uh, splitter so i always keep this on one because you never know if you're doing a night race in your own livery you don't want to sort of be going into races with less visibility the auxiliary light key is actually the the night light on your car you see a lot of it in um long pain racing they either have it inside the car or they have it on the side side um, windows um, this is actually you can have this up from one to nine and i think it actually moves the auxiliary light into different places some cars have it around the windows the bentley actually has it around the grill um, and um, i heard that if you you can put this from one to nine and it puts your auxiliary light in different places but i just wanted to mess around this is actually normally on one but i put it on nine to see if i could find somewhere else to pull it where it looks pretty cool the auxiliary light color is self-explanatory it's just the color of the light and i've obviously gone with the same color as the rest of the car so that's on 98 um your cup category i believe is your driver class whether they're bronze driver or silver but i just leave that on zero don't touch that and your team name is what you're actually going to be what your team's actually going to be called so when you're looking for this livery um in the in the single player menu this will be the name of your livery so once you find this name you'll know that's pretty much the livery that you pick so once you've decided what you want to do with colors and your materials and your rims and everything else you want to hit file and then save and then jump on the game go into single player and then find the mercedes amg we're right here and you can see the team name right here follow me on twitch and then bang there's your car and you can see the different material i've used for the secondary um, import of the car you can see the chrome along with the the matte finish here and what i've done with the rims as well i've put the secondary rim color as the blue the same blue as the car so it kind of stands out has a little highlights but the main rims are actually black themselves you can see there's our number 700 there's our sponsor id that we wanted as well and the third um the third color that I had in the car was the black, which has been put on the wing mirrors. So yeah, car looks pretty cool. I've actually, I think I've actually done a few different cars. Um, I think I did the, I did the Audi as well, did I? Where are you? I did the Audi, team called Cryptic, and yeah, just the standard green and yellow. This time I had the the rims in yellow. Um, also i think i did the lambo evo and i called this team you need some milk and i've gone with the highlighter sort of yellowy green with a matte sort of black so now now you've done that and you figured out how to set up your liveries in single player now we have to transfer our single player um livery to your online livery so that's pretty easy so obviously once you've saved your livery um you head back to the documents and obviously your livery saved so you'll just go you copy that then we go back and try and find our online folder so we go to local disk drive c program files x86 steam steam apps common set a course of competizione server cfg and this time we're going to click on cars and in here this is where you'll just paste it so bang we'll paste it in here and there you go so every time you make an edited livery um you you save it in the you save it in the, the custom cars file and then you just copy that and you drop it in drop it in this online file and then when you go online, if I just quickly show you, multiplayer, you can already see the cars there, and bang, livery's there online. So yeah, um, hopefully I made it easy enough for you guys. Obviously I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can um, jump on the same websites that I used and make sure you download all the 
the cars because that's what I did. You, you never know when you want to try a new car. You might just want your own livery. So best just to download all the cars like what I showed you. And yeah, hope you guys figure it out. It's Cryptic TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. Also follow me on Twitch. And peace.